Hello children, this is Teacher Joe from Blue Tree Education. Welcome back to our video series, Learn Science Together with Teacher Joe. Today we'll be looking at two MCQ questions from PSLE 2020 papers, question five and question 18. So like the questions previously, remember to attempt them before watching the video solution. So now let's take a look at the questions. Let's go to question 18 first. Question 18 is a question on water and its three states. Yi Ping put an ice cube on the, at the bottom of a tube of water. He heated the water near the top as shown. So let's highlight the key question term, sorry, the key information, which is an ice cube. And he actually heated the water near the top as shown. In fact, you can do this uh, experiment easily at home, okay, to see what happens. This is actually a very common PSI question and it has appeared uh, a few times over the years. Let's continue reading the question. After some time, the water started to boil, but the ice did not melt. So again, let's highlight the key information, right? Which is the water started to boil, but the ice did not melt. Very interesting uh, situation that we have here. So which statement best explains why the ice cube did not melt? Now, so before we go to the options, all right, let's do some concept check. Right, so the first thing that, uh, if you can remember, which is ice needs to gain heat in order to melt. Now, you may be thinking, hey, this, this, when the water gains heat, wouldn't the ice gain heat as well? Why didn't the ice cube melt? So the other concept that you should have is water is a very poor conductor of heat. And since it's a very poor conductor of heat, this means that it conducts heat very, very slowly to the ice cube. So now we are ready to look at, the, look at the option. So option one, heat flow only in the upward direction. Do you think this is true? No, this is definitely not true, right? Because we all know that heat energy flows from the hotter place to the colder place. So it will not just go upward. In fact, it should go downwards, right? Because the heat is focusing on the top area. So the heat should be traveling from the hotter place to the colder place downward. Next, heat was used up to boil the water near the top. No, right? This is also another wrong option because you cannot use up energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. So this is definitely wrong. Next one, heat passed through the water very slowly to the ice cube. So since we know that water is a very poor conductor of heat and will conduct heat slowly to the ice cube, this is the correct answer. But like a good student, you have to go through all the options and check carefully. So let's still read option four. The melting point of ice was higher than the boiling point of water. This is definitely not true because melting point of ice is at zero degrees Celsius but boiling point is 100. In fact, the melting point is lower than the boiling point. And that's why the answer is three. Did you get this correct? If you did, well done. So now let's go back, all right, to an earlier question, question five. The topic is on non-flowering plants. So let's read the question. Moss is a tiny non-flowering plant. It grows well at the bottom of tree trunks in forest. Highlight the key information, non-flowering. And it grows well at the bottom of tree trunks. Continue reading. A gardener wants to grow moss in a garden. All right, highlight the key information. How can he help the moss to grow well? So we all know in order for plants to grow well, they will need sufficient light, air, water, and nutrients, right? So. We, with this information, let's do some concept check. Now, the first thing is uh, non-flowering plants, right, actually do not have flowers. So since there's no flowers, there will be no formation of fruits and seeds. Now we're ready to look at option. First one, water the moss daily. Just now we already mentioned that, uh, Teacher Joe mentioned that in order for any plants to grow well, you, they need sufficient light, water, space, and air and nutrients, right? So I already mentioned water. So this looks like it can be the answer. Okay, but I read on, all right, let's read on, all right. Attract butterflies to the garden. 
Hmm, butterflies are actually agents of pollination. But this is a non-flowering plant. There are no flowers. So this is definitely not an option. Number two, grow the moss. Uh, number three, sorry, grow the moss under bright sunlight. Well, the question already said that the moss grows well at the bottom of tree trunk. Now, at the bottom of tree trunk, usually there is less light because the light can't reach to the bottom, right? Not so much light can reach to the bottom. And it already says that it grows well. So actually, this moss doesn't need a lot of light in order to grow well. So this is also not the option. Now, this uh, option three is what many of you might choose because uh, in your mind, you think that all plants will actually need bright sunlight right, in order to grow well. Now, this is a misconception. Every plant actually has their own needs for light. Some plants can grow very well under strong light, but some plants actually grow better with minimal light, all right? So if you have gone, you know, to um, the nursery, you may have noticed that they will uh, divide the plants into what we call indoor plants and outdoor plants. So for moss, right, because it's very tiny and it's a non flowering plant, usually they grow better uh, in the shade, right, where there's less light. But even if you do not know, the question has already emphasized that it grows well at the bottom of tree trunk. And you should be able to connect the information. Bottom equates to less light. Let's go on to option four. Attract animals that help to disperse the fruits. Again, it's a non-flowering plant. So no flowers, no fruits. So this cannot be the answer. Therefore, in this case, the answer is one. I hope that you have learned something new from this video solution is sharing. Please help me to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you find the information useful. Help me to share this YouTube channel with your friends. I will see you soon in the next video series. Bye-bye.